Hey guys, it's Franklin and welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through an average day in my life as an MIT sophomore majoring in computational biology. Right now, I'm stretching for my morning run after getting up at about 9am or so. I don't work out every day, but I try to get at least three times a week. Sometimes that'll be a morning run, or I'll go rock climbing on the weekends, or sometimes I'll uh, just be lifting at the gym in my fraternity. Today was an especially beautiful day, and it was so sunny and perfect for a run, and that's why I'm putting on some sunscreen as you'll see. I decided that I'm going to go for a light uh, three mile run, and it was so nice and I really enjoyed it but I had to be back before 11 a.m. Um, showered to meet my friend at Flower to catch up. I'll have approximately an hour before my orgo lecture after beginning lunch to talk to my friend Raphael, and I usually try to give myself an hour for lunch every day. Um, sometimes it'll be busier, um, and sometimes I'll have more time. But as you can see, I'm back kind of dead on the couch, but yeah. <laughs> of course, after a nice long shower after my workout, I'm gonna get ready for the day and dress up. Um, I usually try to dress nicely. I really like expressing myself uh, through fashion, but sometimes I'll dress down and wear a t-shirt and some sweats, especially if it's an exam day. But today, I brought out the T uh, Swift cardigan and some jewelry, and I'm ready to head out and start my day. Although I am literally going to a cafe, I really wanted to uh, make some coffee using my Nespresso for the first time. I got it because I was spending too much money on $6 lattes every day, and it has saved me a lot of money since, so I do not regret it at all. A lot of the time, um, I'll be eating lunch alone, but sometimes I'll be getting it with a friend, and here I am at Flower with my friend Rafa, and we're just catching up before I had to go to class at 12 uh, to go to Orgo. Now I'm here with my friend Sophia in Orgo lecture. This class is really rough, but we're getting through it together. Um, so afterward at 2 p.m. or no, sorry, 1 p.m. I'm at 1803, which is differential equations lecture. And here I am p-setting. Afterward at 2 p.m. I'm going to the TSR squared room under the Office of Minority Education uh, to get tutoring for the same class, differential equations. And here you're about to see Keda. He's been helping me the entire semester and also last semester in multivariable calculus. He's the best, so shout out to him. Directly afterward, I'm headed to over two or discrete math recitation in which Ella is using me for her blogs. I'll link it below if I remember. Then I'm headed to the stud. I don't even remember why I was going to the stud, but uh, through the alphabet and now I'm back uh, through the lobby seven entrance. Here we have some clips of the Infinite Corridor, pretty iconic, as I'm headed to 512 office hours. And if you go to the second floor, um, you can skate unbothered because less people use it. So afterward, um, I get a banana. Of course, I had to go to the banana lounge before going to the Brain Cog Center to study. If you've seen this video, you would know that the plant room happens to be my favorite place, or one of my favorite places to study. And here I am studying Orgo because it is definitely my hardest class this semester. As you can tell from these clips, I'm spending a long time working on these readings and getting them done. But I do want to talk about one class that I did not attend day today, which is CMS 100 or Intro to Comparative Media Studies, which has definitely been my most favorite class uh, this semester. And I'm going to throw up on the screen um, some of the work that I was able to do, which has been really cool and fun and rewarding. So if you can take this class, I would definitely recommend it. Um, so usually my days are mostly spent with peace setting or going to office hours and studying. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night until I want to go get dinner. But, uh, as you just saw, I 
was going to see Rana Saiwayama in concert, but unfortunately I got COVID and couldn't go. Wow, that was a lot said. I think I'm finally tired and I'm ready to go back to the house and get some dinner. As I wait for dinner, I'm gonna go get a snack, a bowl of cereal, and play some duck game, which my fraternity is obsessed with, justifiably. Um, but normally for dinner, our uh, brothers will rotate on cook crews and cook dinner, but tonight was special and um, one of the brothers, his name is Sawyer, organized an event called Salmon Slam in which his family came and cooked salmon for everyone and it was so delicious, especially paired with some red. Hi vlog, I'm gonna take the fattest nap of my life because I am sleepy. Hey guys, so I kind of just ended up laying in bed for like an hour after dinner, was in a little bit of a food coma, but now I'm back to work. Um, I'd like to finish my orgo notes before I go to bed and hopefully I'll hit the hay around 11 uh, or so, so back to work. I end up doing exactly as I just stated and I finish up my work. Uh, then I get ready to go to bed. So I didn't end up filming an outro for this, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and appreciate the time that you took to click on this video and watch it through. So shout out to you. But if you want to see more, please click subscribe, comment um, if you have any questions or ideas and like this video. Um, you can also visit my website to explore uh, my projects that I'm currently working on. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.